there are no longer any atmospherics in the arsenal of this generation of Swedish tanks. And the most accessible are the second generation Volvo S60 with the 1.6 turbo 4 of the B4164T series. But, alas, the well-known Ford engine did not get any better from gaining supercharging and direct injection. The return has increased, but the fuel equipment is much more capricious, and the tendency to overheat and sensitivity to it and the quality of the lubricant, with dissatisfaction with which the variable displacement oil pump is one of the first to suffer, is much greater. And as a result, scuffing of cylinders and liners, and even destruction of pistons. Difficulties are added by the traditionally capricious low-pressure Ford submersible gasoline pumps that have taken root on all gasoline Volvos, which are especially willing to fail in hot weather. In the heat, it is better not to drive with the fuel reserve light on, and if you lose power or even a stalled engine, let the pump cool down, perhaps it will come to life for a while and allow it to reach the surface. The overly tightly compressed sandwich of the radiator, condenser, and intercooler adds to the hassle. Rinse it with every wash, and at least once every two or three years, with dismantling. And keep an eye on the fan module, from 60 euros for a non-original 1 to 400 for a branded one, depending on the design, the motor in which can wedge in 5 to 7 years. Slightly better are the Ford 2.0-liter turbo 4s, assigned to the B4204T series by Volvo, 8% of cars. Although the pistons there crack less often, but these engines are even more picky about the quality of fuel, more often expressing dissatisfaction with the check engine signal. Surprisingly, the most successful of the Varangians is the youngest, 1.5 liter turbo engine B4154T, under the pseudonym EcoBoost, known today on most European Fords. Received in 2014 from version 1.6 originally made for China, by reducing the piston stroke from 81.4 to 76.4 millimeters, this unit was registered on Volvo only in 2015 and did not gain much popularity, only 1% of cars. With a tendency to clog nozzles and the formation of carbon deposits on the valves, this engine is similar to its counterparts, however, it is less susceptible to misfortune with the destruction of pistons. But original Volvo units are better. Even the own 2-liter turbo 4 of the Drive E family, 5% of cars, which appeared after restyling in 2013, although very demanding on the regularity and quality of service, still raises questions mainly due to valve coking. You can blame the 5s, 2.0 and 2.5, for 236% of cars, of the B5204T and B5254T series for the not very successful crankcase ventilation system, whistling. Officially, the module, 200 euros, is changing as an assembly, but the craftsmen have mastered the repair. After five or six years, due to the fault of the control valve, 100 euros complete with pipelines, the vacuum pump, 350 euros, may start making extraneous sounds. And the turbine, 1000 euros, will reach its solid 300 to 350,000 kilometers only if the neutralizer located nearby is in good health. The belt and the drive of mounted units can fly off and fall under the arm of the timing belt drive which after 100 to 120,000 kilometers due to the fault of the oil seals of the phase shifter couplings, 250 euros each, can get oil, do not ignore the stains on the casing. Diesel, fives, are rare, 2% of cars, but the resource of the D5244T unit, which debuted in 2001 on the S80 sedan, is under half a million kilometers. However, the belt must be monitored, a brake can damage the seats of the valve lifters in the cylinder head. 3,400 euros. And every 40 to 50,000 kilometers, take an interest in the cleanliness of the swirl flap unit and the crankcase ventilation system, as well as the exhaust gas recirculation, EGR, system. After 100,000 kilometers, the valve may jam due to deposits. Another burden of the popular Ford 1.6 engines is the GetRag DCT450 robot, or MPS6, according to Volvo. The fate of the unit with wet clutches is not as sad as that of the dry counterpart 6DCT250. But its Achilles heel is that the clutches are bathed in a common oil bath with a gear part and a valve body, that is, the fate of the unit completely depends on the purity of the oil. Clutchware products harm both the control hydraulics with solenoids and the mechanics, shift forks, first and second gear synchronizers, and in advanced cases, gears with differential, with the oil pump at the same time. So the unit often falls into disrepair already by 150,000 kilometers instead of the theoretical 200 to 250,000 kilometers with a careful attitude. And the elixir of youth, of course, 
fresh oil at least 45 to 50,000 kilometers and a filter change at every MOT. Swedish motors and boxes were more fortunate. Familiar from Mazda, Ford, Opel, Fiat, Saab cars. Peugeot and Renault six-speed classic automatic Eisenwarner TF80 SD model of 2003 breaks down infrequently and is most afraid of overheating, which is manifested by kicks during operation. This is another good reason to keep your radiators clean, as well as for the integrity of the aluminum heat exchanger, the old Volvo ailment, the mixing of a cocktail of antifreeze and gear oil has not been completely eradicated on the 60s of the second generation. The oil must be changed at least every 50 to 60,000 kilometers, otherwise not only the solenoids, but also the channels of the valve body may suffer. However, shocks in the early stages, as a rule, can be cured with unscheduled maintenance and adaptation of the box ECU. The 8-speed Eisenwarner TG81SC, added after the restyling of 2013 along with the new 2-liter Swedish force, which makes the S60 related to the current 6-cylinder Toyota Camry seems to be quite successful, and the recommendations addressed to her are the same. Approximately 6% of cars are all-wheel drive. But in the driveline, in addition, you will have to monitor the condition of the intermediate supports. And the fourth-generation Haldex clutch, 3,000 euros, after 80 to 120,000 kilometers can upset with blows or delays when connected, slipping, or even failure at all, all due to the wear of the oil pump clutches clogged with products. When restyling in 2013, it was replaced by a new, fifth-generation Haldex coupling, 2,500 euros. Simplified, she lost a full-fledged oil filter. Its role, usually no longer than 40 to 60,000 kilometers, is played by the mesh left alone. It is not surprising that the warranty replacements have become larger than before. The clutch began to require cleaning and replacement twice as often, every 20 to 30,000 kilometers. One thing is good, the pump, 200 euros, as a separate unit. The suspension resemblance of the S60 to the Mondeo is obvious. On the one hand, this means the same weaknesses. For example, the support bearings of the front struts, which are not too reliably protected from dirt and therefore sometimes give up after 50 to 60,000 kilometers. Or front wheel bearings, which are often scrapped after only 60 to 80,000 kilometers, especially on pre-styling versions older than 2013. On the other hand, Interbreeding is a good way to save on spare parts. If the same Volvo front hub assembly costs 180 euros and substitutes from 80 euros, then the Ford ones are almost half the price. And the rest of the suspension is just as good. The rear silent blocks of the McPherson front suspension arms are rendered no earlier than 120 to 150,000 kilometers, 160 euros branded Volvo and 50 cheaper than Ford ones. Silent blocks of the longitudinal thrust of the rear multi-link can withstand the same amount, and all other joints are able to endure up to 180 to 200,000 kilometers. Well, the rear shock absorbers, for 120 to 140 euros are original and from 60 analogs or the self-tightening Nivimac for 400 euros, usually work 140 to 160,000 kilometers. The front ones are able to move even longer. Of the questions to the brakes, only the strike of the parking lot in 7 or 9 years, and then due to the fault of the wiring of modules with electric motors, 140 euros each. Another possible age-related ailment is rubber aging and leakage at the place where the EGUR hoses are rolled. In order not to spend once again 600 euros on an electric pump, it is necessary to update not only the working fluid every 2 or 3 years, but also its plastic tank, 40 euros, a filter is built into it and the rail itself flows infrequently, however, it is capable of crunching when the steering wheel is rotated after 150,000 kilometers, this is usually treated by adjustment. Where the S60 breaks the Mondeo, and not only it, to smithereens is in the survivability of the body and interior. The hood is made of aluminum, the quality of steel with hot double-sided galvanization is one of the best among contemporaries, and the paint is chipped off reluctantly and rests on the envy of the German neighbors. Among the few other weaknesses, in addition to the outer, chrome, is a delicate windshield, 550 euros. The headlights of pre-styling specimens do not become cloudy, but after 6 to 8 years they begin to let water through due to a dried sealant between the cap and the body, you can fix it yourself with an additional seal. But the stopper in the mirror folding mechanism is subject to corrosion and souring, because of this, the burdocks turn outward. Due to damp wiring, 
the rear view camera and the keyless entry system may stop working normally. In specimens older than 7 or 8 years, the electric lock may fail. And after a respectable 200,000 kilometers, a wiper strike is possible due to the fault of the motor module with position sensors. There are no serious reasons to dissuade from buying a Volvo S60 with Swedish units. Just keep in mind that such cars are on average at least 100,000 rubles more expensive than not only Mondeo, but also their own relatives with Ford engines and robots. Even a pre-styling copy of the first years of production will require at least 600,000 rubles.